Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a break. I know I've been doing a ton of grocery hauls lately, so I wanna switch it up on the food content and do a pantry and fridge organizational video. So I just got done picking up a huge, 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 sorry Scarlett, huge Walmart order. We were able to make our groceries last two weeks. So since then, and we've kind of picked up things here and there, at the store, but today was another big order of food to restock on everything, primarily dinner meals and also stuff for the kids' lunches. So those were the primarily the two things that I needed to get today. Um, so instead of doing a haul, like I said, which I know you guys love the hauls, but I'm also wanting to switch it up a little bit too, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to organize everything. Actually, I have to brag on Aria for a second because she organized this pantry last week last friday and she did an amazing job so this is already organized i'm just gonna have to go and put some things away but for the most part everything is already organized like she went through everything she even filled some stuff in the containers that were empty she threw things away that were expired like she literally did it all she filled up all the cereal containers so I'm not gonna really be doing much organizing in here. It's gonna be mainly just putting everything away, maybe just a little bit, um, but she's made my job very easy for me. The fridge, on the other hand, I have not been really keeping it, well, kind of, I should say, kind of keeping up with it, but for the most part, I've just kind of let it go a little bit, just kind of put things in random places, so I will be organizing this. I'm gonna stop rambling now and go ahead and start putting everything away. All right guys, so the first thing that I am doing is I am taking all the stuff that is not gonna go into the fridge and just moving it to the side just so I leave all the refrigerated items in front of me. It's just easier for me to organize because I know all of the stuff needs to go in the fridge and I'm not overwhelmed by all of the food that we have, if that makes sense. All right, so one thing we did actually organize last week was the freezer. Arya took everything out. We threw away all the food that was expired or freezer burn and kind of reorganized the food. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the freezer items in here first, which I did not know that this was gonna be a huge bag. This was a substitute. I got dino nuggies and this is what they substituted it with, but it's 4.4 pounds of chicken nuggets. So I'm gonna put that over here with the back stuff. I'm gonna put the meat that we aren't going to be using. So today I'm gonna make a sweet potato and chicken soup. So I will need that. And this can go, oh wait, this is a substitute as well. Hold up, hold up, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a huge thing of chicken tenders. Holy crap, I only want it a little bit. Oh well, okay, so that's gonna go in there. And then this is gonna go in there. I think that's the only two freezer items I had. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge for tonight. So you guys kind of already know how I go about doing this. I go through everything in the fridge, just make sure not, nothing is bad, nothing is expired, kind of move things back in their original place because throughout the weeks, it does get shuffled around. I, I've told you guys, I've tried to keep it as organized as I can, but of course we're human, we're not perfect. So things get shuffled around, but I'll go ahead and start filling all of the empty containers that need to be refilled. So that includes all of our yogurt, the kids love their yogurt and also just different things here and there. Actually, I didn't have to do much restocking in the fridge. You guys will see um, just a few things here and there, but that is what I am doing now. Like I've told you guys many, many times, this is the only way 
that I will store our fruits and even sometimes our veggies in these mason jars that I have just found. They have lasted the longest. I even got this big two pound box of strawberries from Walmart and filled as much of my mason jars as I could. I even had to put some in some containers. I'm also doing that for the grapes as well just because with the kids being back in school, we're packing lunches it's just easier to grab a handful rinse them put them in their lunches and just store them that way and i have found that they last a really really long time this way so hopefully by now you guys are also doing the same or if you guys have found something that works just as great too let me know but like i said this is the only way that i will store them and i just take the extra time just to put them in the jars really quickly that there's not one way that I keep everything organized you guys will probably see as you're watching some of these clips I'm doing a lot of rearranging as well so I don't always have like a method on how I go about organizing I mean of course I have a method in the sense that everything has containers and I take everything out of the boxes it's just easier it works for our family I take the extra time for a reason because it just works for us um, but <laughs> when it comes to how I go about organizing in the fridge you guys I just wing it I really do I'm like okay this looks good this looks good here I do the same for the pantry I always move containers around you guys will see I will be doing that as well I move food around to make room for other food and organize it different ways this is how I go about doing it and again just another thing that works for me So another question that I've noticed that I've gotten not so many times but I don't think I've ever talked about it but a lot of people want to know what do I do with all the food boxes and I look at it this way like regardless if you take all the food out of the box or not or you just put the box with the food in it in the pantry um, eventually you're gonna have to do something with the box you're gonna have to throw it away or whatever you do with your boxes so what I do and what we've just gotten the habit of is we break them all down and we just end up putting them in our recycle bend and just hope that 
it's getting recycled because if you think about it, all the packaging, all the plastic, all the cardboard that we store our food in, you know, not necessarily us personally, I'm talking about just food companies in general, it's a lot of waste. It can definitely be a lot of waste. So I just try to make a difference the small way that I can. And we recycle all of our cardboard, all of our plastic. If we get water bottles for the kids, we try to recycle as much as we can because again, it's a lot of waste. And speaking about waste, because I've noticed sometimes we can be very wasteful when it comes to food. So like you guys just saw, I brought all those little smaller bags to that bin just to remind everybody and the kids that this food is still good and let's go ahead and eat up these snacks first before opening something else and you know letting it sit there too long and letting it go bad and wasting it as well. So um, I think the way that I organize too helps me from not being so wasteful either because I'm able to see everything. You guys, I have everything in clear bins so I can see for myself and sometimes even in this video, I accidentally got another bag of quinoa because I didn't look and see that I already had one. But that is just another example. Like Because I can see everything, I can keep an inventory of everything I have. Nothing's hidden behind boxes or anything like that. So that also kind of helps me to be less wasteful. I mean, we're not perfect, but um, just for the kids to be able to see everything too. So that's just a little, I guess, tip that I have for you guys. So five hours later, just kidding, it only took about an hour to organize everything. Sometimes, usually it takes me a little bit longer, but it was not that bad this time. That's the only thing about organizing the fridge and pantry. It is so time consuming, but I have come to realize that it will save me so much time later on whenever it comes to packing the kids' lunches and grabbing stuff and them grabbing their snacks. It's just so much easier and I know where everything is. So let me go ahead and show you guys the fridge, even though you guys have already kind of seen how it turned out. I just realized that I meant to get, or I forgot to get some more juice for the kids. So I think maybe instead I'll put a few of their like mini water bottles in there, but everything is nice and organized. This was already good for the most part, but I just organized all of those down there, but I had to rearrange some stuff over here to make room for my protein coffees. There was some stuff that was expired. So I ended up moving my fruit up here because of this drawer or this shelf right here. It slides. I just felt like it couldn't handle all the weight of the glass. And then back there is the chicken for dinner tonight. So fridge is done. Veggies and fruits are put away. This is all organized. The meat and cheese drawer. And then down here, you guys already saw the freezer. There's just a lot of stuff in there. It looks disorganized, but it is actually organized compared to what it was. And then here is an overview of the pantry. I feel like you guys probably already know the layout of my pantry. I don't need to give you guys any kind of tour. The only thing that I did change, I made this new shelf for oats and quinoa. I just realized I had a ton of quinoa. That's why I need to go through my pantry every now and then because I bought a whole new bag of quinoa and I already had white quinoa right here. Our 
unopened. And then I have the tricolored one. So I'm gonna have a lot of quinoa for the next couple months. Um, so I put all of that here, chia seeds. I probably already did a voiceover explaining this, but all the small bags of stuff that there's still food in there, but I don't wanna throw it away because it's still good. I put right here, especially for the kids to see because it'll be a lot easier for them to eat some of this stuff first. But yeah, I feel like everything fit perfectly i didn't really have to move a lot of stuff around which i think like i said aria coming in here and rearranging some stuff definitely definitely helped these you guys i have not organized those but we'll get there someday so i hope that you guys enjoyed this fridge and pantry organizational video if you guys did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe leave a comment and i will see you guys in our next video bye guys